All right, we're at a no heat call here. And I don't know if you can see it through the rain. That house has got a couple of original 1993 comfort taker, them old round comfort makers. And the original furnaces are in it. And uh, a DIY type sideline fella is working on it. And he called me with some problems and I sold him a gas valve and helped him piddle around with, you know, some ideas on the phone. And then, you know, when he kept having problems and he called me back and was explaining to me what was happening. Come to find out, he put a new heat exchanger in the 1990 two or three gas furnace. Um, I wouldn't have done that, but he did, and that's that's fine. And uh, so, from his description of everything happening, um, I'd say he's still got a heat exchanger problem, so I don't know if it's not put in right or if there's something loose or what, but we're going to look at it with him. Try to give him a hand. I mean, uh, I started to come over here in my personal vehicle because I don't really want my name associated but nonetheless I'm gonna try to help the guy out and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what he's got um, yesterday was my anniversary my wife gave me two or three little old gifts you know we we try not to we try not to go overboard with that kind of stuff you know we've got kids and everything so but anyway she gave me this light right here. N-E-B-O, Nebo, Nebo. I want you to know this thing, it's rechargeable and it is like daylight. Uh, it's adjustable. There's the bright. I mean, this thing, I took it outside last night and it was shining up into the trees and stuff. So, take it under the house and see what I see with it. A little bitty thing clips on your belt. That might be handy on them little quick deals, you know, where you're not really carrying much. But he wanted to, you know, get it ready to, I guess he was taking some of it back apart or something. I don't know what he was doing, but he's going to get it ready to fire up. I see a power venter hanging on the wall, so I wonder if that's working correct or you know he two or three conversations he took the induced draft motor off made sure the blades were still good on it and it wasn't rusted out and that uh you know it was putting good air out um supposedly checked the the uh power venter out there on the wall to make sure that it had to prove you know pressure vacuum or centrifugal or something before it brought the burner on and it does according to him so we're gonna go look at it i'm not sure how much footage i can get you know uh with him there helping me or me helping him whatever i'm gonna just try to help the guy out i'm not gonna charge any money just uh every now and then these things come along and people contact you and I usually don't get involved, but I just decided to help this fella out. Um, two or three reasons why we won't go into those, but nonetheless, let's go see what he's got here. I'll try to get some footage if I can. I got 80% here with a power venter. Stick your finger in that hole, the left hand, the left. and the drill in your right hand, and take that last screw and just loosen it. Okay. Don't pull it out. And see if you can push up on the heat exchanger cell just with it loose. 
Yeah, or you see if you're able to move it up at all. Can I use a screwdriver? No, but no. you can put a, a finger in both holes, one in each hole. Will it move up at all? <laughs> okay, if not, then let's pull all but one of these out. All right, which one you, you want You could probably leave? leave the top one. Okay. Is there three up here? Yeah. Yes, sir, there's three okay. here. Okay, let's pull these bottom two out. And then let's just loosen that top one about one turn, maybe okay. a turn and a half, you know. All right, now see if you can get the cells to budge inside there at all. Mm. They don't want to, do they? No, sir. So we better take all these screws out and look at this thing, examine it inside. All right, take all the screws out of it. Right, and just... Let's just examine the inside of this thing. We may need to mount that heat exchanger to the plate first and then push the plate up in there, but we'll see. And the only thing interfering with that would probably be this box, and that wouldn't be no big deal. So let's just get a closer look. All right, so I'm convinced that our problem, and see how many holes we got in that heat exchanger for how many different types of... Yeah. So, place it will take. Yeah, alignment is definitely our issue here. Well. Now sometimes we have to loosen that back wall. You see what I mean? Them couple screws sometimes. I don't know if you're going to get that out without well, bending it up. I say I've been getting it out. But... Yeah, but that's rough on it. Take that back door off. All right. We can see exactly yeah. what was going on. This thing has so many holes in it, I guess for different applications or different, but you can see how this is bent. Well, it, it came out of the box like that too. Well, it may have come out bent and I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking for solutions, not blame. Right, 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 right. So we can see, I mean, that's evident on the camera, this, warp, this bend right here. Yes, sir. So that pushes this back and also our alignment was not good so I would say what's gonna need to happen here and they may have to I don't know if they're gonna believe you or what but they may have to give you another one I see the bend or we might be able to straighten it out uh -huh. and get this flat okay. but what's probably gonna have to happen is we have to mount this to the plate first where we can see it yeah. out here and where we can see that you know, from the back side that all this is mounted flat. Yes, sir. And, I mean, there's no doubt that right there is the problem. This warped plate right here is definitely the problem and the way it didn't mount up tight. And I can feel this bent. In other words, this heat exchanger, this plate right here is trashed. Yeah. This is buckled out big time. I don't know if it'll show on the camera. Yeah, I can see. I can see what you're talking about. Where yeah, bowed, but, yeah, but this is all bowed in. This is bowed out, and I just, I just don't think this. Can we, I mean, is ever going to work. Well, let's try to get it out issues. and look at it that that we've run into. But so, you know, my suggestion is we take this out. And we're over here on a Sunday, and yeah. Baker's not open, and we take this out and lay it out on some concrete. And take a hammer and try to flatten all this out and get this plate here as flat as we can get it and mount it to this before it goes back in and let this all go back in as one piece that's the only way i would feel confident putting it back together um and then as you do that you can lay this down on here and look at it yeah you know and see that you're getting it flat i mean this gasket will help you a little bit but it's not real thick it's not going to do a bunch this warpage and all this is absolutely the problem. Um, I mean, that is absolutely the problem. Doubled up on the gas no, too. No. No. Okay. This warpage, you getting this flat and mounting those well is your only chance here. That and gasket, it no matter what you did to build that up, and make it thick, it would last five minutes or five hours or a day or something. Who knows? got to get that flat or get another heat exchanger okay. obviously if it was under warranty we'd just get another heat exchanger but you know the fact that it's been installed i don't think baker's gonna no, no, they, they see don't. the light with you but they won't. 
Um, that thing is as warped. You can sit here and look at it. Um, so we wish we'd have seen it when you come out of the box. Sit, does it sit? Does it sit there like, like it is? No. No, it goes up in the middle. You see the marks back there on the back from the old one? Yeah. See where those, you see where those, uh. But there's nothing for it, that, like yeah, a shelf for it to sit yeah, on. Yeah, there is. Look right back there. Okay. See them right where my shadow of my finger is? Yeah. See those notches? That's where it sits. And the front don't really have nothing. But the back, it's got them notches that it sits in. We'll try to sit right, right so it's in place back there now sitting in the notch and with it propped up like it would go just look at how warped up that little header plate is or whatever you want to call it I mean it's bent bad and this one so they they beat it up in shipping I mean because there's no reason you would have beat it up because no, no, there's no. a big old hole to go in and out of here I don't have to beat it up. Um, I would loosen some of these and get, you know, and some more of these and get this to spread open a little bit. And I would mount it to that plate all in one and get the whole thing to slide in there. And you just have to take the blower out and reach in through the blower hole and make sure you get it in the right slot back there. Yeah, I can, I can look right through there and see, the, see where, I can see your light through there. Well... You might could even mark it. I mean, you can see one, two, it's the third slot down back there that you're in, so with the blower out. But until you get this plate flat, you're, you're wasting your time. Most people, I mean, including me, would say, we need another heat exchanger. Mm. I mean, that's what most any, I mean, that'd be the right effortless way. But right. if you're going in a pinch, you might could get this beat back flat. And right. so... <laughs> Oops. We saw what that was all about. That uh, that heat exchanger had been Ace Ventura Pet Detective delivered and kicked down the doggone hall somewhere, thrown around in warehouses. I mean, anytime you try to buy a part for something that old, all you're going to do is find the one last reject or whatever or you know, I don't know. They still may have the same design, or I, I really couldn't tell you. But without a doubt, that heat exchanger is beat up. And there's no way, really, I don't think that guy really could have done that because, uh, you know, you can see how big the, you know, what he tried to do to put it in um, without that plate. Now, uh, I would open up the cabinet on that furnace and get it you know split apart a little bit more to where I could slide it in with the plate and all mounted together that's what I'd have done pulled it out in one piece that's kind of how it was designed I thought um, if we did a train one like that and bought it it would actually come with that new plate and everything all mounted together so I don't know if maybe that's what happened. He, you know, I got no idea. I only saw what you saw. But he was a pretty nice guy. He was a fireman trying to help somebody on the side that apparently, apparently, you know, a financial crunch or whatever, trying to get heat in the house for him. And I admired that, or at least that's what I'm told. So uh, I could probably take that heat exchanger out, and you know, with my auto body background I could probably beat and bang on some surfaces with straight edges and tables and hammers and get that thing flat and mount it to that thing and make it work but I just suggested that he gets another heat exchanger that thing wasn't but you know a little over two hundred dollars which I couldn't believe that but that's what he said so he bought it from Baker I'm gonna help him talk to them if I can but I'm gonna do whatever I can. Hopefully I don't have to go back and I can just guide him with a phone call or two, but just thought I'd show you guys that. You get into a little bit of everything out here. So let's go to the next one. Thanks for watching.